All right, guys, um, the watch this video here for Thursday, January 13th, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, here's the daily candle of the spot, which looks like a little plus sign. And today might have been one of the most boring days in the history of trading. Um, it didn't even, I've seen more exciting trading, trading setups on Christmas Day. Um, it, it was that bad. So anyone in the chat room knows this is Wayne's fault. GTMI session week. He jinxed the market. We all know it. Um, but you know me. I'm not one to cast blame on anybody. But it's Wayne's fault. Um, anyway, I got a, I, I made an early call in DWAC over the highs. Let me turn this volume down. Um, again, like yesterday, not even sure if I got it out in time. Uh, it was over this red five-minute candle here. I had a nice early trade. I gave some money, money back on a rug pull on something. Um, and the rest of the day, I did next to nothing. So um, we'll see. Uh, again, there's there's always going to be something to trade. It just might not be <laughs> when you're wanting to trade something, right? Um, I it, As dumb as it sounds, I think it's uh, constructive for traders to undergo long periods of boredom because you have to learn um, that, you know, you don't always have to be in something. And that's a really, really a crucial part of being a day trader is learning that you don't always have to be in something. It's not fun sitting on your hands, but if there's nothing to trade, trade nothing. I say that a lot, all right? Uh, very small list going into tomorrow because the market was just so dead. I got hardly, I, I have hardly, I've got, I've have, I don't know. Um, there aren't very many setups. How about that? Um, and this PIK isn't really a great setup, but it had a huge bounce yesterday and then a gap up today and after trading, 30 million shares closed pretty close to where it opened. So I'm not in love with it. Um, but here's the intraday. It did top out. It looks like 783-ish before closing at 730. Um, I'll keep an eye on it. I don't have a level that I love, um, but it's certainly worth keeping an eye on because it's had massive volume the last couple days. <laughs> Sorry, I'm yawning during a video. Um, DWAC. Uh, another green day. I talked about that. Now it's ahead of itself. So I'm kind of leaning towards probably not trading it tomorrow, but it's been good to us the last few days. It'll go on watch tomorrow because it's kind of above. It's kind of broken out of a range. If you ignore all this, right, it's kind of been in a range um, and it's trying to break to the upside. So this one should be on watch for the next couple weeks, but I'd like to see it, you know, flag for a while or maybe even pull back for a couple days. Um, R-E-L-I. I don't love this one either. But it's sort of a recent high flyer. Today's high, 857. Yesterday's high, 863. So you sort of have a stacked catalyst situation, but um, absolutely not in love with that either. BBIG, little volume spike today and a pretty strong close. Um, I actually thought this would have been interesting in after hours back through three, but after hours um, doesn't seem to be in favor right now. Maybe people are thinking um, if it's this dead during the regular session, it's probably even worse in after hours than this. Probably the right attitude to have. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep an eye on that for a possible follow-through day tomorrow. IMRN is kind of interesting to me um, because you had massive volume. And if I show you intraday, usually all right, when a stock gaps up like this and then does this for hours at, you know, pretty much I don't know, flagging, going sideways at the lows of the day, um, longs are in trouble here and usually uh, it doesn't recover. But then we got this late day push and I called this long if it broke the high of day, which it never did. I even thought when it looked like this, back through four was interesting. Regular session or after hours, um, doesn't matter, it didn't do it, right? Um, still kind of interesting to me over four and after hours. But uh, anyway, um, so this one goes on watch tomorrow because shorts from today might be in trouble. Um, it is worth noting that it was up closer to five uh, in pre-market. So anyway, this one goes on watch. PHUN has become a sympathy to DWAC. I'm not sure if it should be, um, but it's that's what it's become. So uh, potential long setup there tomorrow. Um, NXTD. NXTD, um, nice volume spike today. I think this was like a Reddit possible short squeeze. I like the chart. It's kind of interesting. You had a high back here, lower high, and then starting to curl back up. 
So I want to keep my eyes on uh, NXTD as well. And then lastly, VAXX, um, which had uh, a nice volume spike for the stock. Still only 1.3 million, maybe a continuation day tomorrow. And that's it. Boring video, boring watch list, boring day. Um, but you never know. Trades can come out of the blue. So we'll keep a close eye on all these and we'll add gappers in the morning and hopefully catch a couple of good trades tomorrow. All right? um, have a great night. I'll see you in the chat.